morning, folks. Jero here, aka JFro90, and happy new year to you all. As you see, I've grown 30 inches of hair overnight, and no, I did not. Anyway, <laughs> um, got another reaction for you. I got another Beatles reaction for you because the Beatles seem to get a lot of response <laughs> from from me. You know, I, I wasn't expecting too much, but um, yeah, it's the Beatles. <laughs> so. So I got a huge response off of my first two Beatles reactions videos. It took them a while. YouTube holds them. So um, <laughs> this might come out like three or four days after I filmed this here. But I'm doing it. So it's worth it's worth holding. So And more than anything, beyond the great uh, comments and beyond the great comments and responses I've got, I've gotten from the two Beatles uh, reactions I've done so far I got really good requests and really good insights what I like is you guys are listening <laughs> so you know I was afraid there was gonna be a lot of criticisms without like gauging who I am because it's like I have a very strong knowledge of music and music history throughout the years but admittedly it's usually been through the scope of generally put black music soul music um, and it's not to say, you know, I'm a very eclectic listener. It's just, I've connected a bit more. And from a young age, I've just connected a bit more to the struggle and the story of a lot of black artists. So it's kind of lended me that way. And I'm from Detroit, Motown. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, but that gets me to this reaction here. It was mentioned in the comments that, um, the Beatles had a huge respect for Smokey Robinson, and that respect was mutual. And um, that's why I chose the song I chose for today, which is the Beatles doing You Really Got a Hold on Me, which is a, not Smokey Robinson and the Miracles, the Miracles. <laughs> this was before it was Smokey Robinson and the Miracles, but. Okay, so I know that You Really Got a Hold of Me. Okay, so I know that You Really Got a Hold of Me was recorded and released by the Miracles in 1962 and it was off their 1963 album. And the Beatles cover, I think this was 1963 as well, from what I saw. Um, I did not see who does the lead, so that'll be a fun little surprise. And I'm going to try to guess it, but um, you guys can let me know in the comments. And let's jump to it. I'm very excited because, again, I am a Motownaholic. I love Motown. Um, if I ever were to move back to Detroit and if I ever were to, you know, do another nine to five job, my dream job back there, that's not anything to do with film or creative. It would absolutely be working at the Motown Museum. I feel like I'd be a great tour guide with that. Okay, so I know that You Really Got a Hold of Me. Okay, so I know that You Really Got a Hold of Me was recorded and released by the Miracles in 1962. And it was off their 1963 album. And the Beatles cover, I think this was 1963 as well, from what I saw. Um, I did not see who does the lead, so that'll be a fun little surprise. And I'm going to try to guess it. But um, you guys can let me know in the comments. And let's jump to it. I'm very excited because, again, I am a Motownaholic. I love Motown. Um, if I ever were to move back to Detroit and if I ever were to, you know, do another 9 to 5 job, my dream job back there, that's not anything to do with film or creative. It would absolutely be working at the Motown Museum. I feel like I'd be a great tour guide with that. Still got the same rhythm. Still got the same feel. Okay.
okay. Let me pause right there. I love it so far, and I, I'm imagining that that is John and Paul doing the harmonies for the verses, and then and then the other two come in during you know the chorus layout. That's what I am imagining. But um, I'm really really liking this. It's, it's a pretty straightforward cover. Back to it. It's still soulful too. I like they made that their own too. Get my pause right there. Okay, so I was trying to say earlier, the Miracles version feels a little bit more blues and gospel. This version feels a little more blues and um, I don't know. I don't know, but it's still soulful though. It's still very soulful. So it's like I don't want to say like rockish or anything but no it's it's like it's his own thing too it's just it's a good cover it's a really good cover because you know it's an, an easy to distinguish but yeah I think that was Paul in the background that just popped up there. Yeah, this is great. Very good cover. Very good cover. And if I am I mistaken, is this off of their debut album? I imagine that either this album is their debut or the other one that I did where they're all in the blue uh, ponchos or jackets. Really great. Really great cover. Really enjoyed it. I'm really enjoying this trip down getting to know the Beatles. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the comments below, please leave any other Beatles recommendations and also any other bands around this time to kind of get me into this era and this sound a little bit in British rock, British wave, and you know, I'm, I'm open for it all. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed me checking it out, learning with you, uh, please give me some thumbs up and most importantly, please give me some subscribers. Uh, made my goal last year to get 100 subscribers on this channel. I just threw up <laughs> out of nowhere sporadically, spontaneously. Because if you didn't know, I have an older channel that is like 13 years old. That's a whole mix of things. A whole lot of me um, figuring out editing and making fan-made videos for Janet Jackson and things like that. So, um, but this channel is all me. <laughs> and this is the start this is my bare bones of the channel and just me getting used to being me on camera in front of people is doing these reactions. So um, we're going to venture into more. I'm going to give a, you know, a lot of hair talk, a lot of hair talking time. And um, But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this. And I hope you guys stick around for the ride. 
Uh, if you want to follow me on them social medias, all that information is below. And I hope I really got a hold on some of you. <laughs> but whether I do or I don't, you know, just make sure you take care of yourselves and each other.